Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. I kind of wanted to take this time to kind of rebrand my channel into a nursing specific YouTube channel to help those who have no idea what they're doing and trust me I was in that boat so I'm here to help as much as possible. Uh, this little episode is going to be what is in my clinical bag, what I do prior to clinical day, and what I eat for breakfast and what I have for lunch. So we have a busy, busy video. Hopefully it's not as long as I'm thinking it is, but without further ado, let's hop into it. So for breakfast, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I had an instructor tell me that every year at least one person passes out and that is due to not eating breakfast. So it is very, very important. So for tomorrow's breakfast, I have a breakfast drink. I like these things because it has all the nutrients in it that I need throughout the day. And then for tomorrow, I also have an apple and a granola bar just to fill me up when I need it the most. Then of course, I have a cup of coffee. I always drink coffee, need coffee to function, and that is okay. But that is my breakfast for tomorrow. Next, we have lunch. I know my hospital, they have a microwave and a calf downstairs. So if you need to bring food from home, more than welcome to. Uh, you can heat it up even, and then they have a slew amount of condiments to put on um, your sandwiches, anything that they might be serving or what you bring. But for tomorrow's lunch, I have some pickles. I love pickles and it goes great with little sandwiches. So I have sandwiches, pickles, I have some chips. Don't judge me on the amount of chips. I left this tiny amount left into the bag and I was like, I can't do that. So um, threw the bag away and just put them in a Ziploc bag. Next, I have another bar just in case that I don't feel full enough or throughout the day, if I do feel hungry, I can just slip away and eat this granola bar and it will fill me with a bunch of energy for the day. And then next, I like to treat myself to little chocolates. So I have three little Hershey Kisses in here and that's just a little reward to myself and a little saying like, Kenzie, you're actually doing the right thing here. So that is my lunch for tomorrow. Next, we're gonna hop into my clinical bag. Um, this is just a little household bag. Our instructor told us to avoid bringing book bags only due to the fact that we are sharing um, the space that we are at with other nurses and it is her break room. So there's just several different things that are in there. So we try to be as not seen as possible. So this is why I just have a tiny, tiny little bag and I try not to fill it up very much. But the first thing that I have in here is my little clinical um, folder. It's just a normal folder. I know that there's fancier ones out there, but to be honest, I didn't want to spend any more money and that is totally okay. Um, what this has in here is the paperwork that I need throughout the day. It has blank pieces of paper and it also has little charts that we have to fill out later on. So if anybody needs them, I can hand them out to them. And then of course a pen. So next we have in here, some lotion and some chapstick. You should be washing your hands very, very, very frequently and putting hand sanitizer on. Your poor little hands are gonna get so cracked. So just put some lotion in your bag just so you know that it's in there. And if you're ever in need of it, it's like, oh, I have some. Um, I use this every single day uh, just due to the fact that I don't want my hands to crack. Next, we have here some safety goggles. I will leave this link down in the bio, uh, but these are super cute. They are anti-fog. They're a little dirty right now, if you can see that. Anti-fog, and they look exactly like real glasses. These also came with um, a little anti-fog wipe. So as long as it's sealed up in this um, packet and, and it stays filled with the solution that it has, then you can wipe your glasses off as many times as you want to help create that anti-fog. These are amazing. I don't feel like I'm suffocating with a mask and safety goggles and they're cute. <laughs> so I will leave these link down below for you guys to check them out. Next in here, we have your typical pen light and scissors. I actually, these came in handy last week because um, 
someone came up to me and she's like, do you have scissors? It's urgent. And also a lot of PPE equipment, uh, personal um, protective equipment, they are in really tough, tough um, packaging. So I use these all the time. Another thing that I have in here is my stethoscope and I'm trying not to, my little badge holder in my badge. Um, but this badge holder is from Amazon. It's linked in the description below. I'll link it down there. Super cute. I feel, I feel cute wearing that. Nurses have specific things that they can change around to suit themselves. So I'm like, oh, a flower. Uh, next, I have Clorox wipes. We're in the middle of COVID. Um, I know last Monday, the table that I was sitting at just looked disgusting. So I use these to wipe it off uh, just to be precautious. Um, but these, you can never go wrong with them. Next, I have a portable charger. I have this only due to the fact that one, I don't want to use up wall space for anybody who needs it, who's an actual nurse, um, who works 12 hour shifts there. So I have this just in case. We are allowed to look at our phones to look up medications if we are unknown of that and to keep in communication with our clinical instructor throughout the day. Um, and obviously you can use it at lunch, but I just have that as a backup. I personally have never used it for the four days that I've been there so far, but it's just good to know that I have that option when needed. I also have an extra mask. What I typically will do, hold on, I have my other one. I wear this because we have to wear um, a mask on campus. So I wear this to get into my car. I wear this to get into the hospital, or sometimes I'll just go ahead and put this on because as soon as I go into the hospital, they have a little setup tray to where you can quickly remove this mask and apply a um, different one. You cannot wear the homemade fabric mask throughout the hospital. So that is why I just always have an extra because you never know what's going to actually happen. And that is it in my clinical bag. I also bring a bottle of water and that's about it. Uh, I have my clothes already laid out because of how early that we have to get up and go to the hospital. So plus I live with somebody as well. So I don't want to make a ton of noise and I know it's already set up for the morning. So that is one less thing that I have to worry about. And that's about it. Um, I'm going to make a second part to this series, basically explaining what I do at clinicals. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll have some things linked for you guys. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.